Hi, in this session I'll show you how to calculate a moving average using the data analysis tool pack. Now, the data analysis tool pack is a feature in Excel where you can do some analysis. If you don't have this particular add-in in there, you can, what you can do is you can right click anywhere on the ribbon and go to customize ribbon and under add-ins just go and click on the manage Excel add-ins. You can see that I have it active here, but you can go to it and another window will pop up and you can just check that analysis tool pack and once you click OK, that will show up. So what you can do when that shows up is there's a different couple options in and if I click on that you can see that there's different analysis options here. What we want to do is we want to click on the moving average. Now if you click on that, it's going to give us a window where we can input some arguments. Now the input range I'm going to select from A2 to B15 excuse me, A2 to A15. Now if I select it from A1 to A15, I would have to check this labels in the first row, which is that label, so it would discount that particular cell. But since I didn't, I can just go ahead and uncheck that. The interval is how many uh, intervals, how many intervals that we'll use to calculate the moving average. In this case, it'll be three. So what it's going to do is it's going to take one, two, three. It's going to calculate the moving average here. And this cell, it's going to take this one, this one, this one to calculate the moving average here. You'll notice that in these cells here, it's not, be, it's not going to be able to calculate it, and so it's going to be not applicable because there's no three cell, three values above that. Now, the three is what I'm going to use right now. I'll use a higher number later on to show you how we do it if it's a row. But let's go and check out the output options here for this example. So with the output range, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it over here so it's equal to uh, A2 here. It's going to start and go all the way down there. And at the same time, I want to have a chart output. So this is kind of the beauty of having the data analysis tool back to a moving average. Not only will it chart it out in a table, it will also, not only will it calculate it out and put it into a table, it will also put some chart output. So it'll put a little graph out here, a little chart out here for you to do that. So it does two things pretty quickly. and gives you an idea of how to uh, look at trending. So if I click OK, you'll now notice that now, not only do I have my little uh, table here, I've got a chart here. Now, what it does is when it labels the the moving average line, it calls it a forecast. Now, I actually have to have some contention with why it's calling it a forecast because, in essence, when you're forecasting something, you're looking out ahead. I've already got this data here, and what it does is basically what I see it is looking at a trend of data. And so this trend of data looks like it, it, it's got its peaks and the valleys. So it's really hard to see where the trend is. So maybe instead of having an interval of three, maybe we should have a higher interval. The higher the interval, the more it's going to smooth out the data. So in this instance, this is how we would do it if we had our data in a column. So what if we had our data in a row? So if I go to my next sheet here, we have our data in a row. And basically, it's the same concept. You're going to take the data analysis, click on that command, and go under moving average, click OK. And now my input range, instead of having that column, my input range is here. Here are the data values. So I selected that. Since I didn't select the label here, I don't need to click on this particular checkbox. Now the interval, maybe I want to increase it a little bit more to 5 and see if it smooths out those hills and valleys of the data. The output range, I'm going to change that to B3 here, so it's going to coincide and go straight across here. So I also want to chart, and if I click OK, you'll see now that it's charted out the data. And Let me go ahead and uh, expand this view, and now it's now it's smoothed out the data a little bit more. You can see that uh, there's actually kind of a downward trend here, but then it goes kind of a little bit of an upward trend here. And overall, we, look, we do see an upward trend of the data here. So there's an example of how we can use the data analysis tool pack to calculate a moving average. So, so the, the one benefit of using this particular option is not only does it create a table of the data for you, but it also charts it out all in the same time. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.